Reading people's inner thoughts, meaning thought crimes are now officially illegal. Inner thoughts, not just outer thoughts, right. not stuff that we're saying out loud. Like I'm on the freeway, I get cut off by a car, <laughs> I see who it is, inner thoughts. <laughs> All right, inner thoughts that I don't want anyone to know. But turns out with this new tech, people might have access to it. Okay. And okay. it's actually pretty crazy the amount of tech that's involved here. It involves like, um, first invasive electrophysiology, mm -hmm. meaning like, like in the brain, you're putting in electrodes and you're listening to neurons yep. inside the brain, inside. not on the outside with a scalp. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is not headgear that you can just put no, on. No, no, this you, is invasive. You have to go. Yeah. You got to bore a hole and you got to stick a electrode down there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then the second is you've got this input of all of your brain signals from all the neurons that are in whatever um, cortex that you put the electrode in. In this case, it's the motor cortex. And then that input needs to get translated mm -hmm. into the output communication. Right. So what they did was um, the, the, for the four participants, they were cued on a screen to attempt speech and also imagine speech. Okay. So by attempt speech, I mean, you don't want to say something, but you want to imagine your tongue moving. Mm -hmm. And like, imagine your, your mouth moving mm -hmm. to say something mm -hmm. and then imagine speech is like, like the kind of imagined speech where I can just like read. Yes. I just read and I'm like, you know, there's like this inner narrative yes. of like what I'm reading. Okay. So we have our, we, we went into the brain, we wired it up with these electrodes. Uh, we have this machine learning model in the middle and we have the output in the framework of how they define the input and output to mm -hmm. train the model so that it, it act, could actually learn what is this high frequency noise that's coming out of the brain yeah. actually actually mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, attempted speech was at ninety eight percent correct classification. Okay. Okay. That's, so um, even, that's even, attempted speech, meaning like they thought, okay, I'm gonna say the word cat. Yes. And then and then the 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 neural network was like, ooh, I see cat being represented in the neurons. Even with grade deflation, uh, bro, that's an A plus. I mean, yeah, this is starting out, so you can imagine like you know maybe more electrodes, maybe right. a bigger neural network right. with a larger hidden state, right. you know, um, more right. time for training, more right. data for training, more individual subjects have these in them to have a wider spectrum yeah. of different, th th there's a variety of very straightforward, uh, implementations. Yeah. To like make this better, to make it better. Yeah. The fundamental point is that it's possible to get to a high level of efficacy in translating the input of an inner thought to the output and, and, and knowing with a level of certainty that that's the correct translation. That's right. A story coming out of Stanford, uh,